Greetings and welcome to the Developing Dad Podcast. I am your host, Michael J. Griffin Jr. And today we're going to talk about Devon Franklin and Megan Good's divorce. All right. But before we get started, I need you to like, comment and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you do not miss out on any of the content that I'm producing. All right. Let's get straight to it. Now, for those of you that have not been under a rock, normally that's me. All right. You all know that I'm pretty much until I got into the manosphere, I was not up on all the current events and things. But now I'm having to be up on these things to give commentary. All right. So I I'm with you. I found out about their divorce around the same time everybody else found out. And now I'm commenting on it. So I've, I've been asked to give some biblical commentary. And there are three things that I'd like to point out about this. Now, there were many different areas that I could have taken this. Uh, I actually wanted to give him the business. I went and listened to a couple of his sermons and they were atrocious, very prosperity driven, uh, Joel Osteen, you know, I, and I was like, yeah, I'm not going to I'm not going to take it there. I, I wanted to give him the business, but I'll save that for a later date because that's not what this video is about. And you've already if, if you know, if you've been following the channel, you know that recently I did a video about Megan Good and I'll post it up there. Uh, so I'm not actually going to go in on her either because I don't think either of them are Christians. All right. So I'm just laying that out there. I don't think either one of them have been uh, bought by the spirit and that they have the uh, bought by the blood of Jesus Christ and have the spirit of God living in them. So I don't think that they are. But I'm going to address Christians, all right, because there were a lot of people who were, uh, for lack of a better term, disappointed in uh, their divorce. And it seemed to rock them. All right. So a lot of profession Christian, professing Christians were rocked by this divorce. And so I have some questions that I'd like to ask or some things that I'd like to point out. The first question that I'd like to ask is what. So, Christian, what are your hashtag couple goals? All right. So what are your couple goals? Is it um, an image obsessed couple that's truly about again, we, they're image obsessed. It's all about looks and they're in Hollywood and everything's an act. Is it these people? Are they your couple goals or like the Bible teaches? And let's go here. Your couple goals. Titus one. It reads here. Uh, but as for you, teach what accords with sound doctrine. And this is Paul talking to Titus. Older men are to be sober minded, dignified, self-controlled, sound in faith, in love and in steadfastness. All right. So so these young young men, you should be looking to men like that. All right. Does that describe Devon Franklin? All right. Sober minded, dignified, self-controlled, sound in faith and love and its steadfastness. He just dis, um, he just divorced his wife after nine years. Is that steadfastness? All right. Older women, verse three, likewise are to be reverent in behavior, not slanderers or slaves to much wine. They are to teach what is good and so train the young women to love their husbands and children, to be self-controlled, pure, working at home, kind and submissive to their own husbands, that the word of God may not be reviled. Does that describe Megan Good? Is she self-controlled? Is, is she pure? Go, go, and remember, I, the, the video is going to be up there. You can go and check. Just You search Megan Good on Google. Or uh, go duck go, right? That's mine. All right. You will not find a pure woman there. That's not what you're not. Your eyes won't see someone who's pure. She's not working at home. She's out in the world. She's for the streets. I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. And submissive to their own husbands, that the word of God may be may not be reviled. All right. This is obviously not the type of couple that we should be looking to as Christians. We should be looking to older men and women that's that's what we just first of all they should be local because and, and I'm, that's going to go to my second point i'm not going to get a little bit ahead, i'm going i'm getting a little bit ahead of myself but this is what should, we should be looking for someone who's able to train someone who's who's gone through the fire who you can look at and say this is a faithful godly person who has done the work and i can visually see that they've done the work you should find a couple like that that should be your couple goals not Somewhat not an image obsessed Hollywood couple that claims to be Christian, but has none of the trappings of Christianity. None of the faithfulness. You can't even see whether or not they have the faithfulness that Christianity requires. Yet you people are and, and I'm going to there are going to be some comments. I'm going to have them up. You'll see them. Some of the comments that people have been leaving on Devon Franklin's Instagram. This is. This is and that just brings me to my second point because I'm 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 teasing it, but I, let me get to it. The second point is this Christianized celebrity worship is still idolatry. 
there are people who are worship who literally have a Jesus complex for th this couple. That they, they are now affected because of some couple thousands of miles away, they have gotten divorced, and now, uh, their faith is rocked. We were we were we were dependent on you. We were we. This is so damaging to me. Why is it damaging to you? Christ is still on the throne. Christ is still uh, doing everything for his bride. What does it matter that a quasi Christian couple, quasi a, a nominal Christian couple is now getting divorced? Why should that matter? As a Christian, why you have to ask yourself this question? Why should that matter? That was it. This is a blip on the radar for, for people who like my wife and I are still doing the work of Christ in our marriage. We're still we're still toiling every day. Marriage is hard work and we're still working every day. And Devon Franklin and Megan Good getting divorced didn't didn't change a thing for us because we're following Christ, not them. This Christianized celebrity worship is still idolatry. And every time an idol is smashed, you see the, the, the worshipers. The worshipers of, worshipers of that idol are the ones who take it the hardest. And then the thing that the Bible says about uh, idol worship is that those who worship them become like them. Image obsessed. Quasi-Christian. These are the things that Devon Franklin and Megan Good are. L lascivious. Seductive. Sensuality. All of these other things. That's what idolatry leads to. And, and the people who, who are worshiping at the feet of of Devon Franklin and Megan Good and couples like them themselves become like them. It's Christianized celebrity worship is something we've got to throw away. It's still idolatry. And the worship of an idol always leads to sin. It always leads to destruction. We've got to get rid of this idol worship. Even if we want to baptize, we want to like, oh, let's baptize it in Christian language. No. Celebrity worship is never good. Exodus 23, you shall have no other gods before me or besides me or in my presence. There's no other God but Yahweh. Devon Franklin, Megan Good, Couple Goals, whoever, Steph Curry, Aisha Curry, Russell Wilson, Sierra, whoever you want to put in that, whoever you want to substitute it with. None of them, none of them are worthy of your worship. And your worship is what you give your time, your talent, and your treasure to. Your time, your talent, and your treasure. The thing that is most important, highest above all other things, the thing you give your time, your talent, and your treasure to. Time, your gaze, constantly following them on social media, listening to everything that they say, paying for them, whatever it is. Time, talent, and treasure. These are the things that you will give to your idols. Right? Don't make any carved image. You become like them. You become dull like them. You become fools like them. That's what the Bible teaches. Okay. And then my third point, and I'm going to finish this up. All right. So this is this is one of the things that's most frustrating to me. Why is it? And this is about the church. This is about your discernment. Your discernment. Why is it that the manosphere was able to rec recognize years ago that Megan Good was for the streets? But you had Christians defending her as if she were Christian. We should have been able to tell that Devon Franklin is not even a Christian. We couldn't even tell that. It took me, it took me, literally, it took me like, I, I searched for one of his sermons today. And I was like, oh, he, he, he preaches at Joel Osteen's church. He probably is not a Christian. And it took me like two minutes to listen to his sermon. I was like, yeah, he ain't a Christian. I mean, this. It doesn't take long if you know your Bible. It doesn't take long if you know what thus saith the Lord, right? This is what Jesus says. Do not judge. John 7, 24. Do not judge by appearances, but judge with right judgments. Appearances can fool you. Know your word. Discern with the sword of the spirit. You have to be able to do this. We have to be able to do this so that we can point out that. So now the manosphere is calling out. Say, saying things that the church should have been saying years ago. Oh, Devon Franklin and Megan Good, they're not couple goals. She's for the streets. He's a he's a prosperity um, hustler. This is not difficult. This really isn't difficult, guys. Like we got to be able to we've got to be able to knock these things out of the park. So that it so that when when people look at the church and they're like, oh, okay, well this is. There's some standard, there's some accountability, there's some order there. 
We've got to be able to do these things. All right. I'm not going to belabor this long. I just wanted to put those things out there. The three things. Look, what are your couple goals? Make sure they're local. Right. Find the local older couple that's married, that's been through the through the fire, tested 40 plus years of marriage. My parents in a week's time, they will be married 44 years. All right. That's my couple goals. Right. If you want to say like length of time, that's my couple goals. OK. The, the second thing, this Christianized celebrity worship. Stop it. Just stop it. Cut it out. It's, it's idolatry. You're becoming like them, image obsessed, quasi Christian, useless when it comes to uh, producing godly character and virtue. And the third thing, discernment. My goodness, we got to have better discernment. You can't have the manosphere out, out discerning the black church. Come on. This is this is an indictment. You got the, the, the manosphere is like, yeah, making goods for the streets. Why did Devon Franklin marry someone for the streets? Right. You can't turn a 304 into a housewife. Like what? What are you trying to do? Come on. This is really this really got to get we got to get better. We got to do a lot better. Come on, y'all. We got to do a lot better. Come on. All right. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Give me the tithe, the offering and the building fund. And I will see you all on the next one. All right. Wait, I got to I got to leave you with my tagline. Until next time, be on alert. Stand firm in the faith. Act like men. Be strong. All right. See y'all on the next one. Bye. If you'd like to support the channel, you can do so on Patreon or on Cash App. Or you can support the school that my wife and I have started. All links will be in the description. All right. See y'all on the next one. Bye.